wild child from Leeds. I do find them sometimes a little bit hit and miss. Let's see what this pale elves like, shall we? Hello, everybody. Welcome to these babies. Yeah, I've had a fair few beers from from these guys. Uh, some have been really cracking. I think shoot to thrill um, supermarket beer. I think was really very good. Um, but some not so good. I think the Mystic Meg probably misses the mark a little bit. Um, this uh, fluorescent adolescence is a grapefruit uh, pale ale coming in at four percent ABV. Um, the one you might all know is let me just move that along a little bit. Uh, the one you might all know, oh, I've got a halo effect going on now, um, is the uh, Brewdog Elvis Juice, which is a uh, which is a grapefruit pale ale. More grapefruity than it needs to be, but I still like it. Uh, did I say this comes in at four percent ABV? I picked this up at my local Morrison's. Can't remember much pay for it. So I'm going to see what this one's like. Um, dropped my phone earlier today, and I wonder if several little spiderweb cracks like they tend to do on the the screen. One of them's gone straight through. The glass in front of the lens, it doesn't appear on the screen to be affected the um, the image, but we'll soon see when we process it, won't we? It has poured a hazy golden colour with a small white head, low to carbonation. Let's get the aroma, shall we? Oh, great fruity. Do you know what? It's fresh. It's mild, but it is a fresh smelling grapefruit. Yep, yeah, you know looks alright, smells alright. Time to taste it. Cheers, everybody. No, oh, that's nice. That is nice. I like um, fruit beers. I don't mind the adjuncts um, in them as long as it's done correctly. Like I said, I do like the brew dog. Not it is, but I do like the Elvis Juice by Brew Dog. Um, you like that one, by the way. Have a look at the Aldi um, Memphis Boulevard. Exactly like it. But obviously, just a little bit cheaper because it's uh, Aldi's own. Um, but I do prefer beers when they're like this. It's not overly done on the uh, fruit flavour. So you can get some of the flavour of the uh, pale ale coming through, which I, I always think you should be able to taste that base beer first. And that fruit flavour should just be adding just a little bit extra on top, not overwhelming it. Otherwise, what's the point? I think it does sometimes, therefore, mean people won't like it because they expect it to be um, like opening a carton of um, juice, uh, grapefruit in this case. Um, but no, not for me. I don't like it like that. So for this, it's nice. It, you, there is, you can just taste that, that sweet malt coming through. There's a little bit of um, biscuitiness going through on that. Hmm. Little biscuity um, pale ale coming through from the malts. That mild grapefruit then takes over, and there's a, a really nice mild spicy dry bit of finish which is really nice as well just got a little spices on that edge and a very dry partly because of the the grapefruit i would have thought it's just stripping the uh, the juices out of the mouth and just making it really dry it's a really nice um it's really nice beer that is good Don't expect a juice fest. 
And like I say, I don't think it should, but I think you need to taste that beer underneath it and just leave enough on top, just give you that nice little flavour going through it. I think this is well done. Um, I would happily score this. 7.5 out of 10. It's a 7.5 out of 10. Get my hair, my hair 7.5 out of 10 from Andy's Beer Views. If you've tried this, some of you have done. Drop me uh, your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate it when you do. Uh, until next time, enjoy your beers, everybody. Cheers.